how are you? I'm great, Kevin. How are you? Good. What do you got for me? So listen, this is my first time or coming on. This is my third time being with you, and I really want to come on and hang with you because you remind me so much of my brothers. I'm the youngest of seven boys. Okay. And us to you give us you know the raw shit so i was like oh i, I got to talk to you <laughs> okay so what do you got for me on the topic so on the topic i am um trying to uh, i i i'm trying to get some advice some big brother advice okay kevin okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> but so, you gotta yeah. get you gotta get to it though. This is dead. I know it. I know it. I know it. Um, so I am single mom. Okay. Okay. And I'm trying to figure out how to balance my life. Okay. 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 I'm trying to figure out what I need to be focusing on and looking for um, uh, in relationships. I don't know. What outcome do you want? I want happiness. I you want, want to be married? Absolutely. I've never been okay, married. Okay, hold on. Let's just, let's just answer these questions. You're a mother of four. With, yes. And how many, how many different fathers? Four. Holy shit. <laughs> How many times have you been married? None. That ain't gonna work. I've been proposed to three times. But that I ain't gonna work. It. That's not gonna work. Yeah, I'll never accept it. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is not gonna work. There's no marriage to a woman who has four kids by four different men who's never been married. What guy wants to follow that? So, so your answer is I'm done. As far as marriage, in all likelihood, yeah. I mean, how old are you? Forty-four. 44, four, first off, ma'am, let's take you out of it. Let's say you you have a brother, right? Right, seven of them. And your brother comes up and says, hey, hey, sis, I'm going to marry this woman with four kids by four different men. She ain't never been married. What you going to tell her? Yeah, man, lock that deal down. Are you asking? Can I respond? Yeah, what you going to tell him? You going to tell him a lot. So, well, you know, what are you gonna tell I'm, him? I'm gonna put, of course, I'm gonna have my my own personal experience in it. So of course, I'm gonna tell him. Okay, yeah, absolutely. You gonna tell him absolutely? Yeah, absolutely. So you love your brother so much, you would tell him to marry a woman with four kids by four different men, and he never been married to either one of them. That yeah. ain't love, ma'am. That ain't love. I mean, there's a history. I mean, it depends on the history. That there ain't love. Is. That ain't no. okay, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Listen. This is where you women go wrong because you're too into it. Do you have any sons? I do, two sons. So two of your, your your two sons come back and both of them say, hey, mom, I found a woman with four kids from four different men. I'm going to marry her. You're going to say, go ahead, son. Let's go ahead and plan that up. Probably not. Exactly. I'll be honest. Probably not. Exactly. Yes, absolutely. Exactly, because you, and the men you're talking about are somebody's sons. I mean, here's the thing. If you didn't need to be married to have babies, you don't need to be married. You don't need to be married now. That's really how men think about it. Okay, so take marriage out of it, Dick Kevin. So, I mean, because at the end of the day, I'm not one of those people that are like, oh, I want this, that, and the third. I got my own bag. I'm an accountant. All right. I want someone that I can be, you know, because no one deserves to die alone. Well. <laughs> I get, I, I get it, ma'am. I get it. Well, how does how does how does your youngest child? My youngest is eleven. He'll be twelve. All right, ma'am. But still, you got to understand that you're deciding to come to these things at beyond middle age. They have told me on the bus with the fours. <laughs> you are, unless you're going to live to be a hundred, you are beyond middle age. Okay, so it's done for me. I, I should just go and. and uh, you need to. You okay? You want me to? You want me to tell you what you want to hear, or you want me to no, tell you what I think? No, I, I, you, I, I, I well, then on. listen. You okay. you you came to these decisions to where now this is now it seems to now be a priority because 
At 44 with four kids, you were just out here doing what you wanted to do. You said you got a bag. Okay. But now you don't want to die alone. All right. But then who's the thing? I hear you. But there's a man out there who's going to have to attach himself to you. And what is he going to get? Can I answer? Yes. Okay. So when he attaches himself to me, he's going to get um, an awesome individual. He's going to get a down to earth individual, um, someone that has a grasp on life and what they want. Okay. Um, someone that can provide, someone that knows how to cook, someone that knows how to um, take care of the household. Um, that's what he's going to get. Somebody's okay. going to. Okay. This. All right. So let me ask you. Let me ask you some other questions. Okay. Okay. How, how tall are you? Five nine. Dress size. You. I'm going to slap you, Kevin. <laughs> uh. I didn't gain a little weight on quarantine. <laughs> so I'm probably like a 14 now. So I'm 5'9", 230. All right. 5'9", 230 pounds. 5'9", 230. Four kid. Listen, 5'9", 44 years old. 5'9", 230 pounds, size 14, with four children by four different men. And everything that you said you were going to get provide for a man is you're going to get an awesome individual who has a grasp of something or other, who knows how to clean a house and knows how to cook. Ma'am, he can get that in a 25 or 30 year old with no children and a dress size six. So what you what you say you, ladies, ladies, this is what I'm. Listen, listen. Do you under, Do you understand what I just said? What you're bringing to the ta- What you're bringing to the table. What, okay, you're an accountant, right? I just want you to give me advice on me. Okay, well, okay, well, I understand. I give it. Listen, listen. I give general advice on this show because if you need specific advice, use up some of that bag and book a session. I don't just give free. Specialized advice out. Oh, that's what I need to do. So here's the thing. Yeah, but but in general, man, I'm speaking to you in a, in, in some terms that accountants can understand. Assets okay. and liabilities. Uh-huh. Your assets need to outweigh your liabilities for someone to want to take that deal. And the things I've asked you about assets were very vague, but your liabilities are very real. Absolutely. All right. Hopefully that helped. That's it.